Hey, what's up, everybody? Pioi here. Uh, we're going to do another, or my second of the play booster boxes. Um, I want to see if I get similar results to the first box, and I'm going to air it sooner uh, than I would usually would air my second player or set box, primarily because I think it's important. Um, <clears throat> with however they engineered this particular product on my short sample size, it appeared that play boxes are the much better bang for the buck outside of going for, you know, one of the, the big fancy foil, uh, big score hits, um, or, or the textured cards, right? Which looks like the big score ones are one per subcase, looks like. And the textured, I didn't even see what those are. So, for actually getting assortments of cards and mythics and things... These look like the much, much what they're expected to be. Bang for the buck, a stupid read a card, who cares? So, let's get into this. We're going to start with an Arch eh, Archmage's Charm. Obviously not the price it was at one time, but I'll take a great train heist. That's a sweet card. I don't know yet what is going to go on the top and what isn't exactly, so I'm still going to kind of put cards up there that I think are neat. Or ones that I haven't really seen yet. So, it's not really a... A full-on value train up there yet. Thornado. <laughs> Fibble Pit. Uh, I'm, okay. Of course, of course Fibble Pit is there. <laughs> Where isn't Fibble Pit? He's everywhere. He's just it's the way it is. Crown. Back for more. Sandstorm Salvager from the uh, the Big Score set. Here we go. That's probably good. A little more. All right. Pillage the Bog. I so I just took a look. Uh, so after I filmed a couple collector boxes in the first of the play box, and then I kind of uploaded some content and chilled and looked at cards and blah 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 and started to get a better idea for things. Prices at time of this filming do not matter, right? Because this is pre-release weekend and. We don't know anything yet, especially at time of me filming this. So, and then I stopped at this card, and I was like, "Huh, wait a minute. It's black and green. Golgari. I'm gonna have lands out. Twice number of lands. I'm gonna cast this thing for two. It's not quite demonic tutor, obviously, because I can't go through my whole deck. But this is pretty good. That's a that's a damn useful tutor right there." It's a damn useful tutor. I don't know if it's going to be a hit, but I very well could see myself playing with that card. Yeah, it's not going to quite be Demonic or Vamp Tutor or, or any of those, but like a notch below Grim Tutor? Okay, Skewer the Critics. Dust Animus. So another card I haven't I did not see at all until I took a look at some of the cards. Um, eh, for limited. <laughs> for limited. You know, you have to have cards that are for limited in a standard set. It's the way it works, right? Of course, even even modern has about a horizon set had cards for primarily for limited. Uh crime is that a mythic? God dang it. Crime and Punishment, they made a mythic. I mean, it's, it's, it is one of the better split cards, but... Ah, all right, well. Concealed Courtyard, though. Okay. <laughs> That's better. That is better. I'll take that. I feel like I need so many stack areas or pile areas in this set. So I like need three separate rows just for mythics. Decisive denial. Hey, another sort of wealth and power. Cool. I'll take. I'll take Wiley Duke. Doesn't seem like a kick-ass Duke, but I guess that could be an abusable ability to tap it, especially in Convoke. And then you gain a life and draw a card while while convoking. So yeah, I can see that being pretty good. And it's in the right colors. Fierce Retribution, Concealed Courtyard times two, that time in the really cool uh, Borderless treatment. I dig, I dig. 
They, uh, as I've stated, because of the additional of the the big score and and the uh, ah, what they call them, I just looked this up. <laughs> oh man, eh, what they call that again? Breaking news! Breaking news! That's what it is. Uh, it has made the the regular Outlaws of Thunder Junction rares and mythics a little more rare and mythicy. Probably not a bad thing, I think, maybe. Hindering Light, hadn't seen you yet. Vraska joins up, which is not bad. Personally, I'll just state I don't love this treatment. Personal thing. You don't have to love everything. Right? <clears throat> it's okay not to like something. Some people love it. That's cool. Unlicensed Hearst. Hearst. The Archmage is new, which I did end up reading that card. I think mounting up a newt is weirdly funny. Hey, Foil Siphon Insight. Okay. Not bad. Detention Spear. Combo! Awesome! I can use another copy of that. In fact, I think I'm good there at that point. All right, done with the first row. No set mythics yet. That's something that is is something I I am kind of tracking here. So many ad cards. All right, we got skewer the critics. Three steps ahead. Happy to see you. Okay, Prairie Doggin, Surgical Distraction, Rest in Peace, <clears throat> my own Discord and other channels, when this got announced, they were like, look at this card, <laughs> it was all like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, wait, we know what this card is, <laughs> everybody had a, it's like every, it's like a lot of people out there had a moment. It was it was amusing. Yes, that card has existed, and it also recently got a reprint. Is that a that's a neat new gnome uh, gnome token? Why did I say gnome? Gnome token. Where are you? And there's like two. Okay, so it's a little scarecrow, two two scarecrow for three at a mana. Eh, all right. Not a bad little uh, artifact mana dork. Lila. You're one of the ones I hadn't seen yet. I don't know if it goes on top, but I hadn't seen it yet, so it's going on top. Honest Rutstein. <laughs> yeah, he's a warlock, huh? We graveyard to okay, so it does a little bit of recursion in the right colors that you could your spells. Yeah, that's not a bad little uncommon right there. Alright. Does a little bit of a uh, eternal witnessing. Uh, has additional stats. Eternal witnessing for a creature, anyway. And uh, sticks around and provides a benefit. Generous plunderer. I had not read you yet. And then we got Rakdos joins up. Okay, you get to, okay. Well, it's five to put out, but allows you to do a little recursion. Yeah. And whenever a creature you control dies, I am putting this in Henzi. <laughs> oh my god. I am super pumped all of a sudden. Holy crap. That thing is magical for that deck. Woo! <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, back to back to what we're trying to do here. We got Oko, Blooming Marsh. Um, I think under this pack, I'm halfway through the box, and I have no regular set mythics yet. Is, it, is that right? 
Terminal Agony, Free Strider Lookout. Seriously, am I at zero? Mythic, 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 no, no, no Mythics. Those are not Mythics, are these Mythics? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, you can go on the bottom. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't really matter, it's putting them down nicely. There we go, there we go, okay. All right, well, that means we should have a whole bunch ahead of us, yeah? That is what that means. All right, All right. Grizzly, Essence Capture, Duelist of the Mind. So I had not pulled one of them yet, so the World Champion card. What's this over here? We got Endless Detour, Seraphic Steed. Hmm. Oop. Okay, come on Mythics, come out and play. Oh, Pariah. Huh, okay. <laughs> All right, I apparently can't stop pulling Terror of the Peaks. That's that's apparently a thing. And I'm not complaining because even with even with it being a reprint, it's probably going to remain one of the better pulls of the product. Lone Shark, Sizzle, Ty Joaquin. hadn't pulled that yet. Okay, it's that seems okay, but hey, flats, highway robbery, clear shot, and the canal getting a lot of the lands here, probably in place of mythics. High noon. Rope Master, Terminal Agony, and he joins up. I I am now good on copies of these. Fantastic. Okay, Oasis, Saddle, Garden, Vedmir. All right, we are down to the last 12 packs, and I'm only sitting at one set mythic. This is kind of why I wanted to do this. This is important. Because I don't want to just sit there and claim that play boxes are 100% where it's at. Railway Brawler. Love to see another one of those, even if I've already pulled one. I, that's, that's a card I'm going to make use of. Seems good. Even if, even if there are other mythics I haven't gotten yet, and I would kind of like to see. That foiling is really nice on that. That cool. All right, keeping it going. Getting toward the end. Hoping to see. Wouldn't mind seeing a mana drain. <laughs> As wouldn't anybody else, right? Villainous Wealth. Outcaster Trailblazer. Kai. Stingerback Terror in Foil, Indomitable Creativity for our third Mythic out of that print sheet. So unfortunately it means I didn't really get any, I, I didn't necessarily get the selection. Like I was kind of hoping for Contagion, uh, Contagion Engine, but it is what it is. Step Between Worlds, I actually don't own a Contagion Engine, so it's kind of like, eh, well, maybe I'll pull one of those. That would, be, that would be okay. But nope, not destined to be. Fierce Retribution, Calamity. All right, Mythics, hey, where are y'all? 
Oh, you're all in the last box? Is that what happened here? Tiny Bones! Sweet! I didn't have one of them yet. Tiny Bones! Cool. And the Spurs. What do we got left here? Seven packs? Okay. Stupid arena cards. Vraska joins up in foil. Repulse. Even Interrupter. I didn't pull one of those yet either. Good to see a variance in some of that stuff. I can't remember one particular channel recipes. It's like, look at this card! It's so amazing! And I was like, this isn't, wait, it's a, that's rest in peace. That's archive trap. It's not, it's not new. Yeah, it's a hell of a card. Okay, I want the white instant spree board wipe that I can't remember the name of. That, that's, that's the card at this point I'm hoping to see. That's one card. World Walker Helm. Why do you look like you're from Ikoria? You probably are. But not Ikoria. Uh, uh, excellent. Because, because it is. Okay, if you'd create one or more artifact tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional map token. I'm not crazy personally about map tokens, but... Create a token that's a copy of target artifact token you create. Now that's better. You only get, you have to tap it. Ah, Caustic Bronco, the uh, Snake Horse. Yeah, I was hoping to find one, at least one. one you know, I, I'm not opening all the product in the world, but I wanted one of those. Uh, the White Instant Board Wipe. Void Rend. Stoic Sphinx. Huh? As hexproof as long as you haven't cast a spell this turn. Great. <clears throat> for a 5-3 flyer with flash for four. And that. Alright. Hey, it's a limited card, is what it is. Wreckish crew. Pillage. Oof. Harvester of misery. And we got Annie. I hadn't seen Annie yet, so that's a new mythic. Not a, not, I don't think that's gonna be a hit, but that's cool. Hadn't hadn't pulled one of them yet. Hey, another round. I like this card. We will see what it does. Okay, two packs left. I'm at a normal, a normal-ish for regular mythics. And then it does seem you do get like the six to seven big score cards. And then it does now that this has been this has been uh, par for the course, where you get three mythic um, breaking news. So that's that's been very. Accurate. Yeah, well, we got another one. Simulation Aegis. So unfortunately, that is going to mean no on the Spree Mythic. Last pack. Jolie. Savage Mesh. And Breaches. And with that, Kellen joins up to finish it off. Okay. So... It's still an overall similar to higher mythic count than a collector box. And a higher rare count than a collector box. Just with less flashy treatments and foils. I think I'm still going to hold true to my commentary from the first video. It feels to me like set boxes are the way to go. Because what is a set box? 139 plus tax. Yeah, the, the price went up. But this still, this is way better than that first run of play boxes. Like, if you just take... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my guns on that one. Um, I think play boxes are the way to go for this product. If you, if you are in the wanting to get things to play with realm of the world. Yes. You can't get the big, flashy, textured, or raised foil treatments, because there's two different ones, out of these. But you... I've opened up two collector boxes so far, and, and you know those, those are like seems like like what one per subcase. So those are super limited in itself. So I feel like these are kind of the way to go, unless you're just kind of going big game hunting, which you know is fun too. Lord knows we've done it on this channel plenty of times. Um, but unless you're big game hunting, 
this still continues to be the way to go, even if I didn't quite find the things, but that's just all luck at a draw stuff. Thank you for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, bye.